In this Cricut Christmas project for beginners, I am showing you how you can quickly and easily layer glitter HTV, which stands for heat transfer vinyl, but also known as iron on vinyl. And in the process, we may also be making a really cute satchel for some reindeer food. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael, and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your Cricut and crafting channel, where I show you Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. So if you are new around here and you're just trying to figure out how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, well, you may want to consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that little bell for all the notifications because you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut minute, especially during December, because as I'm sure most of you all already know, during December on this channel anyway, it is the 12 days of Craftmas where I'm not only bringing you all 12 new Cricut holiday or Christmas inspired projects, but I'm also bringing you all 12 opportunities, 12 chances to get registered to win a huge Cricut prize package. And y'all, I am living for this because I'm giving away a Cricut maker as well as a Cricut Joy under the premise or with the hopes that you'll spread some love and kindness and good cheer and pay it forward and give away one of those Cricut cutting machines to a friend or to a family member. I'm also giving away a huge bundle of the StarCraft HD permanent adhesive vinyl, a 30 foot roll of my favorite transfer tape, my favorite weeding tool, um, a squeegee tool, and some other little goodies as well. Now to get registered, it's super simple. Just watch these episodes from the very beginning all the way up until the very end because throughout the course of each of these videos there is a hidden holiday or Christmas themed phrase that will be popping up one word at a time and look a little something like this right here and whenever you see that pop up just jot it down and keep on watching up until the very end of the video now once the video is over you have any time all the way up until 11 59 p.m pacific standard time on Christmas day on December 25th to submit those and if you are in the US, just text that in to me at 502-878-7189. If you are outside of the US, you still have an opportunity as well. Just email it to me at mcpgiveaways at gmail.com. All right, y'all, so now on to today's project, and I'm so excited for this because, I mean, what's Christmas without some sparkle and some glam and some shine and some glitter, am I right? And lucky for us, you get all of those things with the Caesar Glitter HTV, the Caesar Glitter Heat Transfer for vinyl. So for some of you all who, who may be new to this entire world, HTV, which stands for heat transfer vinyl, is the same thing essentially as what some companies call iron-on vinyl. Now, although they may be called the same thing, not all HTV or not all iron-on is created equal. There are some brands that are, that are, uh, significantly better than others. And Caesar is one of my favorite brands as well as the StarCraft SoftFlex, although StarCraft does not currently have a glitter HTV in their lineup. Now, what some people may not realize is that you cannot layer glitter HTV. However, there is a little workaround with that and I'll show you all my little tips, tricks, and hacks for that specifically. But uh, to get things started, we're obviously gonna need some Caesar glitter HTV and that is what I'm using right here in these three colors. So I'll just tell y'all right now that the camera will never do this stuff justice. It may look good on camera, but it just does not look as good as it does in real life. It's just, it's stunning. So I'm using this gold color right here. Now I'm not entirely sure on the exact shade names, but I will find out for you and I will have those linked for you all down in that description box below. I'm also using like this really pretty green and this almost like snowy white. This is absolutely stunning. Ah, uh, it's breaking my heart that it's not showing up on camera as pretty as it is in real life, but y'all just have to trust me on this. We are also gonna need some fabric to apply our HTV too, right? And I'm using this really cute little satchel right here, this little buffalo check, red plaid, whatever you wanna call it. This is so cute as a little drawstring and everything. I'm just, totally obsessed with this. You're also going to need a heat source like an easy press or an actual heat press. I'm using my nine by nine easy press today, as well as my Cricut easy press mat. 
We are also going to need to make some reindeer food, right? And so I'm just using some regular Quaker oats as well as some cheap, affordable glitter that I got from Walmart because y'all, I'm not using my fancy glitter just to spread out onto the ground. <laughs> We are also going to need a cutting machine, right? Now y'all know I'm biased. You all know that I'm gonna be using my Cricut cutting machine and I'm gonna be using my Cricut Maker because it's out here on the desk already, but you can absolutely use a Cricut Explore Air 2, a Cricut Joy, or really any cutting machine that can work with SVG cut files. And last but not least, we are also going to need an SVG cut file or two to make this Cricut Christmas magic happen. All right, so here we are on designbundles.net and this is one of the SVG file bundles that I'll be using for today's project. More specifically, this reindeer silhouette right here because I am absolutely in love with this. And I'm also gonna show y'all how to actually go about customizing these SVGs just to get the exact look that you're wanting to go for. I'm also gonna be using another SVG file which is this one right here because this is just adorable in my book. I'm obsessed. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hop over to Cricut Design Space. All right, so as you can see, I already had these two files uploaded into Cricut Design Space and inserted onto our canvas. Now, if you are new to all this and you're not entirely sure how to download files from designbundles.net and how to get those uploaded into Cricut Design Space, I got you covered. I will link a video for you right up here, as well as down in that description box below that really walks you through the entire process step by step. It's super, super easy. But as far as our projects here on the canvas right now, if you'll take a look over here on the right hand side of the page in the layers panel, you can see that there is a lot of different layers going on. Now this section right here belongs to this SVG file right here. Now we don't we don't have any need for an svg file with this many layers i mean that's that's extensive so what i'm actually going to do is just merge those all into one solid layer one solid image by coming down here towards the bottom right hand corner and selecting weld and as you can see here it is now just one solid layer now since it is one solid layer there are some benefits to that we can actually select that and now come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select contour and if you've never used contour, you don't know what you're missing out on. It can really, really level up the whole customization process of all of your Cricut projects. Like, I love it. Now, as much as I love this little saying right here, if we actually cut all this out and try to apply it to the size of satchel that we're trying to apply all this to, it would be so microscopic. It, it wouldn't even be worth it. So as much as I'd hate to do it, let's go ahead and remove all of this right here. Now, the best way that I found to go about doing all this is by coming down here towards the bottom right hand corner and selecting hide all contours. And basically by doing that, it's going to like hide or remove all of the elements of that image, except for the largest part of that image, which in this case is this little flourish right here. So let's go back in here and basically click on what we want to keep in the image. And as you can see right here, we can click on this and it goes from a lighter gray to a darker gray, which means that that is now part of our image again. So let's go through here and select this. Now we can't select just the A, we need to select this little cavity inside of that A as well. We need to basically tell Cricut where to cut and obviously we need it to cut that little portion of that A as well. Let's go ahead and click on this G, the I, the C and all of reindeer food as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and click on this little flourish because I'm actually gonna remove this for now, but we're gonna come back in here and add that back in in just a second. All right, so now let's click outside of this contour box. And so as you can see here, the only thing remaining is what we wanted to keep. Now I'm actually gonna right click this and select duplicate. And then I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select contour. Yet again, I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select hide all contours. And again, it's gonna remove everything in that image except for the largest piece of that image, which again is this flourish. However, this time I'm keeping this little, this little swirly flourish design, but we do need to go in here and select the inner portions or the inner cavities of that. So that cuts that out as well, just that simple. So now I'm gonna click outside of this and there is our flourish. Now on to our reindeer bust or our reindeer silhouette. So I'm gonna select that. And as you can see over here in the layers panel, there's a lot of layers for that one as well. So let's do the same thing. Let's come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select weld. And as you can see, that turned that into one solid image. Now let's come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select contour. And I'm gonna select hide all contours. And again, it kept the largest part of that image, which in this case is the outline or the silhouette of that reindeer, which is exactly what we were wanting. 
All right, so there is that. Now I do want our image to cut out onto three different colors or on three different layers. So what's important with that is that we actually change the colors of these. So we basically need three different colors. So just to avoid any confusion, let's actually change this reindeer to white since I am gonna cut the reindeer out on that snowy white glittery uh, glitter HTV. So to do that, I'm coming up here towards the top of Tank Corner, selecting that little, that little color swatch and then just changing that to white. Now for where it says magic reindeer food, I'm also gonna come up here towards the top left hand corner, click that color swatch and then change that to green because well, I'm gonna cut that out on the green HTV. And as far as this little flourish right here, we don't technically need to change the color of this because well, we already have three different colors going on here. So that's gonna cut out onto three different mats. However, just for the sake of getting a visual, let's go ahead and change this to gold. And for gold, I'm just gonna choose this like this orangish color right here. All right, so now what we need to do is basically resize this to fit onto our satchel, right? Now I have already measured out our satchel here. And basically what I measured out was below this seam right here. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but basically the seam below this little drawstring right here, from there, all the way down here, which was about eight inches. And as far as the width goes, it was around seven and a half inches. So basically I'm gonna create a template in Cricut Design Space so that we can perfectly resize our reindeer and our little magic reindeer food to fit perfectly on here. So to do that, I'm coming over here to the left-hand side of the page and clicking on shapes. And I'm gonna open up a square. And just for the sake of continuity, I guess, um, we can go ahead and change this to red to kind of sort of mimic our little satchel right here. So I'm gonna come up here towards the top left hand corner, click on the color swatch and then change this to red. And I'm now gonna come up here towards the top of the canvas, right up here where it says size. And I'm gonna click on this little padlock right here because that padlock basically locks in the proportions of our image. So if we were to go ahead and just change the width, well, it would change the height to be the exact same size because well, that padlock is locked. So let's go ahead and unlock that so we can have a different measurement for our width versus our height. Now for that width, I'm gonna put in here 7.5 for seven and a half inches. And for the height, I'm gonna put in here eight for eight inches. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and right click this and select send to back. And now we can basically go about just resizing this to fit perfectly on our, on our satchel. So I'm gonna click on our reindeer right here and then I'm gonna click on this little resize handle and then just drag that inwards to just shrink him down a bit. All right, now I do wish this reindeer silhouette was just a little bit on the wider side and we can change that. However, just please do this with, with caution it's very, very easy to make your image look very distorted if you're not super careful with this. And remember, a little bit can go a long way in some cases. So let me click on this little padlock and this resize handle switched up to like a multi-direction type of handle. And we can basically drag this outwards like so. And just keep in mind, it's easy to make your image look distorted. So you don't wanna go too crazy with this. But I do think that something like that should do the trick. So let's go ahead and lock that back. And there we go. So now let's bring in our magic reindeer food. Let me go ahead and right click this and select send to front and then just drag this right over top and we can resize this accordingly. So we can go ahead and grab this little resize handle and then just drag this outwards. And I'm really liking the way that that looks right there. However, just keep in mind that this is your design and do whatever you like, whatever your style is and whatever makes you happy because really that's all that matters anyway, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this little resize handle right here and then just drag this outwards as well to something just like that. All right, so we have it all resized, so we're good with that. So we don't really need that template anymore. So let me go ahead and click on that template and then select this little red X up here at the top left hand corner. So now let's talk about how we're gonna go about layering all of this. Now, keep in mind, Glitter HTV is extremely textured and whatever you try to layer over top of Glitter HTV, well, more often than not, it's not going to get a very good adhesion at all. It may look like it does. It may seem or feel like it does, but I promise you, you do not want to try and chance that because more often than not, over time, water is gonna seep up underneath the HTV. It's gonna to start to separate. It can mold or mildew. And more than likely, it's gonna to start to lift or peel off over time. You don't want that. <laughs> So we're gonna create a layered look. And by doing that, it's super simple. What I'm actually gonna do first of all though, is right click the magic reindeer food and drag that off to the side. 
in this little flourish, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna duplicate it and then just drag that off to the side. And here's why, because we are going to actually slice out our image and we're gonna do it like this. So basically I'm gonna select one of our elements and then holding down the shift key, I'm gonna select our reindeer silhouette. Now, whenever you go to slice this out, keep in mind that slice is only gonna be available for you if you have two layers selected. It's not gonna work if you have one, and it's not gonna work if you have three or more. It has to be two and that's it. So since I have both these selected, I am now gonna come down here towards the bottom right-hand corner and select Slice. And if you've never used Slice before, it's basically like a weird cookie cutter. <laughs> so as you can see here, I'm gonna just click this and then just drag this off to the side. Here is all the elements of how it basically sliced everything out just like so. So I'm gonna drag our reindeer off to the side I'm gonna click and drag over all this and then just delete that out. And so now we have this little duplicate here that we will actually cut out and then that will actually fit perfectly right in there. And then I'm gonna click and drag over our reindeer and over this little flourish and do the same exact thing. I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select slice. All right, so we can go ahead and drag this reindeer out of the way. I'm going to just delete that out. And then as you can see here, we can just then click and drag this where it says magic, reindeer food, and this little flourish right into place. And basically we're gonna be able to layer all this, but at the end of the day, everything will be adhered to this little satchel right here. Pretty cool, right? All right, so now I'm gonna come up here towards the top right hand corner and select make it. And basically this is the matte preview screen where it's showing you basically how things are being cut out onto your cutting mat. However, what's more important in this situation is where the mirror option is. And that's right over here to the left-hand side of the page. So I'm gonna click this little mirror option because 99.9% .9 of HTV needs to be mirrored. And it's definitely the case for the HTV that we're using today. I'm gonna go through and select this other layers as well make sure that they're all mirrored. And then I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select continue. All right, so on this page, we set our base material cut settings. Now we are using Caesar Glitter HTV. However, in my opinion, the best cut setting for that is Glitter Iron On. So I'm gonna come right over here and select browse all materials. And I'm gonna do search for glitter. And here is Glitter Iron On right here. I'm gonna select done. With 99.9% .9 of HTV, you want to apply it with a shiny or pretty side facing down onto the cutting mat. And so in this case, that is this side right here. Now, this is a little bit easier to tell, especially with like a glitter HTV, because, well, you can see the glitter. <laughs> and then on the back side, it's more of a matte, like dull finish to it. I'm gonna apply this glitter side down or shiny side down onto our cutting mat. All right, so let's go ahead and load this and get started cutting. And while all that cuts out, I'm gonna go ahead and set my easy press to 320 degrees for anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds. All right, so whenever it comes time to actually removing your vinyl from your cutting mat, what I always, always, always like to do is flip my mat over and then peel the mat away from the vinyl instead of the other way around, just to help prevent any damage from occurring to your material. And while the rest of these are cutting out, I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding out my first layer. All right, so we have everything all weeded out. So now it's just time to apply it. So our Easy Press 2 is completely heated up and ready to go. So the first thing I wanna do is actually just run over this Easy Press mat real quick. Just kind of warm all that up. All right, so now I'm actually gonna go ahead and preheat our little satchel right here. Now, this is extremely important because we wanna make sure we get all of the moisture out of this fabric because moisture in HTV they just don't mix, it's like oil and water. You don't want any moisture to be in your fabric. So let's go ahead and press that first, get all the moisture out, get any wrinkles out, and then just get it warmed up for our HTV as well. All right, so that's all preheated. So let's go ahead and position out our HTV. Now, in cases where it doesn't really matter which layer goes down first, like what we're doing today. I always have to go with the largest layer first, which in this case is obviously the reindeer. Now I did forget to mention at the beginning of this video that you would need a cover sheet. And for a cover sheet, I always prefer to use a Teflon sheet. However, if you don't have one of these, you can always use parchment paper as well. I just feel like the Teflon sheet helps to dissipate that heat a little bit more evenly. And I feel like it gives me a little bit better results, although that could be placebo. <laughs> 
All right, so now let's talk about pressure with all this because pressure is so subjective and it's actually one of the reasons why I recently invested in an actual heat press because, well, it takes out the guessing game with pressure. Now, as far as medium pressure goes, you want to think about like a piece of paper between your actual press and your garment and try to think about having enough pressure where you couldn't you couldn't really rip out that piece of paper if you tried. But now let's talk about firm pressure because with glitter HTV or with the Caesar glitter HTV, you need firm pressure. So try to think about applying that much pressure with the whole paper thing and then up it by at least 25% or so, and you should be good. All right, so now let's talk about layering HTV. So whenever you are layering HTV, you do not want to apply all that heat for the full amount of time for every single layer. If you do that, good chance you're actually going to degrade that adhesive and it's not going to last nearly as long as it would otherwise. So what we're actually going to do is apply heat for about three to four seconds or so on the Glitter HTV, remove the heat, remove the carrier sheet and apply the next layer and we'll keep on going that way. All right, so Glitter HTV is like a hot or warm peel. So I'm going to go ahead and just very, very carefully, please do not burn yourself. I'm going to very carefully start pulling away at this carrier sheet. Now, if any of that HTV is wanting to come up or pull up with the carrier sheet, stop immediately and then reapply some more heat and more pressure. This is looking so pretty already. I cannot wait. Let's go ahead and just do this little flourish right here. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this back up again. And I'm gonna apply a heat for another three to four seconds. Another really good thing about layering HTV in these like short little time frames is because the HTV actually shrinks up under that heat. And especially when you have these little puzzle pieces, so to speak, where we're trying to fit in one piece or one element of that design into another, well then you definitely don't want that to shrink up too much at all because then you'll be out of luck. This comes in really handy for that. Okay, so again with the Teflon sheet or cover sheet, whatever you're using. And I'm again going to do another three to four seconds or so. Now, some people will go ahead and apply that full amount of heat for that full amount of time with this last carrier sheet. However, I don't like to do that. I like to go ahead and tack it yet again, and then go back in there and apply the full amount of heat very evenly to the entire surface. Because if you're not careful, well, the carrier sheet can actually leave indentions or creases in other parts of that design. And so doing it this way just makes it way more even and really eliminates most, if not all of that creasing or those indentions. So I'm covering this back up and we're gonna do a full 13 seconds now. Y'all, I am loving this. But before we do a final reveal, we obviously have to make up some reindeer food, right? <laughs> right so I am basically just gonna dump some of these oats out into this bowl and then just stir in a lot of glitter. Now, if you all liked today's episode or if you learned something new, it would honestly mean the world to me if you went ahead and stamped to that like button as well as drop a comment down in the comment section below. Both of those things help me out tremendously here on YouTube and I honestly cannot thank you enough. Also, while you're at it, if you are new around here and you're just trying to figure out how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, well, you may want to consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that little bell for all the notifications because I put out new Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week and you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut Minute, especially during December because like we discussed earlier, December, around here on my channel at least, it is the 12 days of Craftmas where not only am I putting out 12 different videos, 12 different cricket, Christmas, or holiday themed projects, but I'm also giving you all 12 different opportunities to win a huge cricket prize package. So at this point in the video, you should have all of those little hidden words that create that hidden holiday or Christmas themed phrase. So just text that into me at 502-878-7189. Or if you are outside of the US, you can just email it to me at mcpgiveaways at gmail.com. 
Thank you all so, so much for watching today's episode. It truly, truly, truly means the world to me. And I am so extremely grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay crafty.